What's going on guys today we're going to talk about starting your business in 2021 and some of the things that you should take in consideration and some of the things you should think about if this is your first time here my name is glendon cameron i'm your corporate coach your money coach teaching you how to start businesses so you can have a better life all right so let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room template businesses your Amazon FBA, your Amazon Relay, your Shopify. This is where most people start. Hey, there's this business model over here and they'll go ahead and they'll try to do it. And this is one of the things that's a little dangerous about that is when you get into a business model because of the money that can be made, at some point, even if you're making money, if that business is not in alignment with who you are and with your strengths, it's going to become a drag. So one of the things that I suggest that you do is sit down and compile a list of your strengths and weaknesses. So let's say you're an introvert you're not going to want to get into a business where you're going to have to be a salesperson because that's going to be really really hard i'm not saying you can't do it but you're going to be working against who you are as a person and very interesting here's some fun facts and there, there's some debate on this but there are over 30 million small businesses in america right and of the 30 million 20 five million or single person businesses so what these people have done is created a job for themselves and they have not created a scalable business model and this should be into consideration because if you get into some of these template businesses such as it's going to be a single person like right now what's really really hot is amazon relay you go out, you get a box truck, you sign on Amazon and they give you routes and you make money. Typically what's going to happen is you're going to get a person who isn't skilled in business and they're going to get into it and they're going to do all of the work and they're going to dramatically increase their income, which is a good thing because single person, the average small business income is 71,000. The average income of you know over half of America is 33 so you're more than doubling your income so that's good but you have created a trap for yourself when you start a small business and you are the only employee because essentially what happens is and I, I'll share something that happened with me essentially what is considered a small business is really just a hustle uh, my business partner years and years ago when we were in the, in the uh, upscale garage sale resale business we had a hustle because we could not build systems and processes so when you're thinking about your business you want to ask yourself is this something that i can hire people for i can train people for and I can remove it away where I'm not the only employee of the business because typically there is a reason that 25 million small businesses in America have no employees. And then when you really start to go to it, because once again, the Small Business Administration considers a business with less than 500 employees a small business because when you get into more than 500 employees you get into about i'm going to say literally 30,000 businesses around the world that are industrial conglomerates 30,000 the the stock market the uh, nasdaq the s p we're only talking about 9,000 companies so 
when you're talking about building a business, and we're gonna talk about this, you wanna get a business that is in alignment with who you are as a person, but also something that you can build and scale. This is something that we're gonna get into the art of holding, and we're gonna be talking about building and scaling and hiring people because this is one of the big issues and this is one of the things I want you to avoid the creating a job for yourself trap. Essentially, when you create a job for yourself, you actually limit your income. So when you're sitting there thinking of a business model and like with many of these template businesses, you know, your Amazon FBA, your Amazon Relay, your Shopify, it's like, go over here, do this, make money, and that's the trap because typically when you're building a business, and I'm going to say this, you're looking at a one to three year journey before you start getting paid because you're building the business, you're building the asset, you're creating the asset. And essentially, as long as you're in hustle mode, because essentially uh, what happened to us is when we had to shut down, the money stopped. But fortunately for us, my partner was a CPA and we had good money management tactics. So we put away a lot of money. But here, here's the thing. When you're choosing your business model, you should do research and you should conduct tiny experiments because one of the things that I'm seeing here on YouTube that's very, very popular, like the pallet business, people are looking for a business, AKA hustle, that they can start today and make money within three to four days. And typically, I want you to look at the typical McDonald's. Someone goes ahead and signs up for a McDonald's franchise, right? When do they go make money after they've signed up with McDonald's, they've spent probably, I think you need to spend, you need to be at a million liquid to own a McDonald's franchise. So they will actually first sign up for the franchise, second, find the location, third, build a restaurant. We're talking months and months and probably a year or two if they buy an established, you know, before they start making money with this huge investment. And you, you know a McDonald's is gonna be successful. I've rarely seen the McDonald's close. So you know McDonald's is gonna be successful. So I'm just saying that typically, that when you are looking at your business, you should be looking at something that you can invest in, that you can build, and that you can scale. Because long as you stay in the realm of hustle land or these template businesses, you're going to limit your opportunity, you're gonna limit your money. Because, you know, Let's talk about my current business. I have a YouTube business. I have an online education business. And that's pretty much what I do. The YouTube business and the online education business. And because I have the system of YouTube, I have the system of online courses, I have the systems of payment plans, I have all of these systems and processes that when I got sick, my business didn't stop. So, you know, there, there are many people who are interested in what I'm doing. They're trying to figure out what I'm doing. And even though I'm 100% transparent, you see the YouTube channel, you see the online portals, you see it. So I'm not hiding anything. And we're gonna talk about this and talk about your business intelligence level. And I'm not trying to be dismissive, but when you are a rookie, beginner, entrepreneur, you don't know what you don't know. And essentially, it's going to take some seasoning for you to become a skilled operator. Because literally, I was when I was in the resale business and I had storefronts, I could walk into someone's store and within very quick fashion, determine if they were gonna be in business within six months based upon what I saw, because that's what the area that I was operating in, that's what I knew. I knew that, 
you know, essentially there's a reason that I had a 10,000 square foot warehouse because at the time when you were doing retail, you needed large space and the bigger your space, the more money you made, the more money you made, the more profitable you can be. Many, you know, and this was before the internet just ate up the world, but essentially I knew that business model really well. So essentially you're looking at training yourself and growing yourself. Like I'm not going to sit here and, you know, like the JT hustles, the raised entrepreneur, uh, the black hustle club hustlers club. All of these guys are occupying a space that I am leaving. I'm not going to tell you go do this business so you can make some money because nine times out of 10, it's going to be a hustle. What I'm about is building durable, sustainable business models that last for decades, that put money in your pocket for decades and not a short term hustle or a business that's literally going to become a trap. Um, you know, understand that the beginning and that's how I got started. I got started with a hustle. Essentially, uh, my first business, which would have been more scalable, was I was selling used office furniture and I started selling new office furniture. That was a business model that I could have scaled and I could have separated from me. Then I got into a business model unknowingly. I didn't know this stuff because like I said, when you are a beginning entrepreneur, there's so many things you're not going to know and you got to start taking chances and actually doing stuff. So I actually moved from a business model to a hustle and I was completely unaware of it. And this is one of the things that I'm talking to you about starting a business. And we'll be having this conversation over and over and over again, is that you need to do research and look at your business that you want to get into. Cause I have a friend who owns a nursing home and he took the profits from this nursing home and started a construction company. And this is a black guy. This is a black man. I, I need to reach out to him. I need to bring him on the show. So one of the things that um, you got to understand is there are many different levels to business and there's hustling, which can be really, really good. It can be fundamental. You can learn a lot from hustling. I'm just saying that for me, where I'm at now, I'm kind of moving away from that and more about the durable business, sustainable business models, which are going to require that you're going to have to hire people. And it's going to require that you're going to have to become a manager and you're going to have to become like human resources because for you to elevate your business to the next level, you're going to have to hire because essentially out of 30 million businesses, 25 million of these businesses have no employees. And this is why the average small business income is $71,000. I have a friend who has a property management company and she had employees, she had an office and this is, this is years and years and years ago and she was doing 250 a year. And then, you know, she wanted to sell that because she figured she can get 500,000 and open up a restaurant. And I literally talked her out of it and she hired someone and this business is doing a million a year. I think they have five employees and she now owns a restaurant. So she has two businesses. And this is a common thing that you will see with skilled, profitable entrepreneurs is they will move into a second, a third, a fourth or fifth business. This is why I'm talking about the holding company concept, because once you get that first profitable business that you can scale, that you can hire people, that you create systems and processes for, then you, this frees you up to start another business. But once you're on that treadmill of you being the only employee of your business, it makes starting multiple businesses rather difficult because you, you only have so much bandwidth as a human being. There's only so much you can do. So I want you guys to sit down and research business models. And once I get my uh, show of interviewing entrepreneurs and talking about their businesses, this should be helpful because 
there are so many things that you can do to make money and on the community page i put a list of billionaires and you know the majority of the united states black billionaires come from the entertainment industry but what's funny the richest black person in the world who's worth 25 billion he has a business not entertainment he has a business so once again with business you can create you can build you can make a lot more money than you can doing these template hustles and stuff so i want you to sit down and really take and self audit of who you are what you like to do because th this is really really interesting. i've been doing this 12 years you think i could have did this if i didn't like it or i didn't have a strong interest so what i'm what i'm talking about is i want you to build businesses that literally slide money in your pocket year after year year after year year after year businesses that are in alignment with who you are as a person and businesses that create great opportunity for you and the people that you love because what i'm seeing out here with you know a in-depth view using my business experience 21 years of doing business and being sales marketing and all this stuff that the majority of the business content on youtube is template business is hustle content and it's not talking about how to start a real long-term durable business model and then i, I want to change that because uh, with the live stream that i did the other night you know we need more black business owners we need way more because you know there's various websites there's one website that said there's like three million black business owners and then you know depending on which data you get there's 37 million black people in the united states up to 44 million so there's like a 7 million differential but that three million would represent close to 10 percent and I'm, I'm just like i'm not buying that i'm not buying that i'm like uh, I'm, I'm just i'm just not buying that because if we had that many business owners i wouldn't be getting the pushback that i'm getting on this on this youtube channel because at a 10 percent like three you know essentially i believe the number of black businesses to be owners of 150,000. I believe that number and I, I strongly believe it. And I believe there's a number of people who think that they're business owners because they have a website, they, they've got an LLC, but they're not making any money or they're making really a small sum of money. And I would not consider those people, quote, business owners but they may consider themselves to be business owners and this is something that you're seeing on clubhouse the self-anointed business gurus who have not made their first dollar they're not made their first dollar they don't know how to put together a marketing plan they don't know how to put together a sales process they don't know how to do marketplace research yet there's like i've got this nine figure businesses that i can't google a hundred million dollars is significant money you know like let, let's have this conversation if you in your lifetime was to be able to build a net worth of a hundred million dollars okay a hundred million you could live like a billionaire you would not even have the other 900 million that you would need but with a hundred million dollar net worth you can have a private plane you can have multiple mansions you can drive whatever you want and you can have a lot of cash in your bank account so one of the things that we need to understand is the power of money and i'll be doing videos talking about that so be very careful who you listen to because if they're just talking a good game but they're providing no receipts 
There's no track record that you can Google. There's no investigation that you can do. Cause when I came on YouTube, I had people doing all kinds of investigations on me about the storage auction thing. Literally reaching up, talking to people in the storage auction community here in Atlanta to find out if I was real. But when these gurus come here on YouTube with a big house and a fancy car, like with that damn Blazerian, he was living in this fantastic house that was rented. It was rented. He didn't own it. And this is one of the things you're seeing that there are many people who are creating a facade. They're just creating a facade. They will not provide you any receipts. They will not show you anything real, but they will talk a good game. And you should be very, very careful listening to those people. All right, so this is today's conversation. We're gonna have a lot more conversations. Let me know what you thought of this conversation. Below, I have the art of holding. Now, March is moving kind of quick because it's gonna be the 10th of March. So the price is gonna go up the end of March. And what we're gonna be talking about is creating your holding company, your operating companies, developing business credit. And we're gonna spend a copious amount of time about the things I've talked about in this video hiring employees, managing employees, and scaling your business. Because that's the only way that you're gonna to get to that multiple million dollar per year annual sales revenue. You're not gonna get there by yourself. So we're gonna be talking about that and a whole lot more. So that's all I got for you guys today. We'll see you in the next one.